Welcome to my vlog. Today I, I thought I'd start with my uh, training session. So today's session it's a paddle from uh, Thames Tradesmen Rowing Club on uh, Barnes, this is Barnes Bridge just behind me here and I go, I'm going to go down for about five miles uh, and then hopefully I get the tide back so it's a 10 mile paddle in total. That's the plan I hopefully I've got the tide times right. So a uh, 10 mile paddle a nice and easy on tideway. Now the reason I am uh, paddling down here not just Richmond as I usually do is just just break it up and kill the monotony of the paddle on the same stretch of water so it's all about making it fun and making it enjoyable and wanting to do it so I find so every now and again I paddle down here because I quite like it and it just keeps it keeps it fresh for me so let's do this Hi guys, really good paddle down to Albert Bridge and back to Barnes, probably I, I'm guessing about 12 miles or so against the flow most of the way there uh, with the tide on the way back. Uh, it was quite bumpy in, in some places and I was really feeling it in the core when I got back to Barnes Bridge there, really feeling it uh, and my, my core muscles were straining a bit and actually what that sort of told me is uh, I'm not strong enough in the core. I've had two or three years of paddling and, and where I've had the time off, I've really lost that core strength there. Um, so I need to do more sort of paddling in, in the water like I've just been paddling just now on the rough and the, and the bounce. And when I'm paddling that water, there's no, there's no point just paddling on it. You need to sort of force your core to do the work. Um, so what I was trying to do out there, I was trying to sort of make sure that I was, my, my back arm was coming up and in between strokes I was there. So my core here, is keeping me upright, not my paddles. There's a tendency, especially when it's bumpy and stuff, people get tired, is to drop the arms. And it means you're not relying on your core, you're relying on your, your paddles to keep you upright. So you're going for the stroke quicker, you're allowing the back arm to drag longer. And that's really slowing you down, it's not very efficient at all. And you've really got to sort of focus. Uh, so what I've learned from today is I, I need to do a lot more core. And from what I see across people at like the boat club and a lot of people who are new to the sport is, is their core also isn't strong enough. So um, we need to have a look at ourselves. And if we do need to do core, we need to go out uh, onto these kind of conditions and really sort of force the core to do the work. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And, and it's so, so important um, to build a strong core because that's where the strength comes from. The strength doesn't come from here. The strength comes from the core and it comes from allowing the boat to run properly, smoothly uh, and upright. Uh, and if you're dragging your paddles in the water, you're paddling lower, you're not allowing the boat to run. So it's really, really important we have good core strength. Um, so it's a great paddle today. Uh, it was great to identify with Few weeks left to go um, that I need to do some more core and then it won't take a lot to sort of get you know get back up there a few more rough paddles like this some sit-ups um, some core exercises um, and it will sort of um, hopefully be good be good for for DW so uh, uh, that's that guys that's what I believe after all what is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be like for everyone and avoid the trouble the only way that I ever got any place was the breaking some of the rules when you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. Now, if you want to coast through life, don't pay any attention to any of those rules. But if you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work.